Seasons and Reasons for Celebration, Christmas Day, and the 12 Days Thereafter. Here's the question. Does 12.01 p.m. on Christmas Day signal a time of letdown from holiday festivities? Hi, I'm Dr. K.P. McKee, Founder and Executive Director of A Spacious Place Creativity and Spirituality Center. And as we talk about these two holidays today, we would love to hear from you, your thoughts or your questions. You can enter them in the chat box on your mobile device or on your computer. So, it's pretty common knowledge that December 25th is Christmas Day. It may be less well known that December 26th through January the 6th are the 12 days of Christmas that are made famous by the song. Uh, they are the days that we think about how long it took the wise men to follow the star and get to where the baby Jesus was. And so that celebration is called Epiphany and we generally celebrate it on January the 6th. Uh, so we're going to talk today about Christmas Day and the way that we can really savor uh, that day and the joy of it, and then how we can move forward and continue that celebration through the 12 days of Christmas, because that is also part of the Christmas season. So here are some resources that I really love for Christmas Day celebration. Um, here are a couple of books that are, we just really love in our family and that we put them out as part of our decorations for the Christmas season. This one is called The Nativity, and it's illustrated by Julie Vivas. And I just, these drawings, these paintings are so realistic. We have pregnancy here and the reality of childbirth, all done in such a, uh, an intriguing and winsome style. Here we have a, a unique take on the angels with the shepherds. So that's the nativity. And I also love this one, which are the words to the Christmas classic carol, Silent Night, illustrated by Susan Jeffers. It's a very different artistic style from the one I just showed you. And then they have the actual music in the back. So there's an example of her work. And on Christmas Day, we love music in our family. So um, we have music by the Vienna Boys Choir. And this is a carol album. And it is seven centuries of Christmas music. There are 24 in all, and they're from all around the world. So it's a really beautiful way to enjoy the music of the season. And then we are big fans of Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and here are a couple of their albums uh, for a rockin' Christmas, if that's what you're interested in. So, um, what about some projects we can do on Christmas Day to savor the Christmas um, joy and the time together and what it is all about? Well, first of all, one idea is to start the day with worship, and a worship service in which everyone brings something uh, a book or a poem or a piece of music or a visual art piece that they have made uh, to contribute to the day. Also, we like to have out our nativity scenes, also known as creches. This one um, we have had since our children were little, and the wonderful thing about them is they are accessible to children. The children can move them around and play with them and talk about what the different persons in it are, the settings and stuff, and we always put the camel for the wise men off here to the side so that we understand that they were not at the manger. It took them a long time to get there, and that's the reason Epiphany is celebrated later on. Uh, we also, another option is whenever it comes time for presents, that we take turns opening our presents so that we have the joy not only of receiving a gift ourselves, but also of seeing the joy that we have given to someone else. So that builds community and it also focuses on relationship more than just acquisition. And then last of all, just cooking together or baking together. The smells and the um, busyness in the kitchen and all of that is a way that 
we say Christmas is here and it is a, a day unlike any others and a time to celebrate. Um, so that's Christmas Day and we would love to hear some about your Christmas Day celebrations, what you do. And let's think about now those 12 days between Christmas Day and Epiphany. So what are some creativity resources for that? Um, one of our favorite albums is John Denver and the Muppets, which has one of the most intriguing and delightful versions of the 12 days of Christmas that I have ever heard. So we highly recommend that one. And then I have a couple of books that uh, are based on the song. This one's illustrated by Jan Brett, and uh, I just want to show you one of the pages from this. Her work is just so intricate and beautiful. Here we have the French hens. So that's Jan Brett. And then this one is um, beautiful art from each of the days. And we have had it for a long time and a lot of children have enjoyed it. So it has a lot of love in it. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you. It's a pop-up book. And this is an opportunity to teach children about using our gentle hands with some things. And I do not know if this is available or not still. David can check for you. It's um, the pop-up work is done by Robert Sabuda. S A B U D A. Look at this one. It's so gorgeous. And this might inspire you all to create your own pop-up books, which would be a, a great thing to do to celebrate those days. So what are some things we might do to uh, do our own creative projects uh, for December 26th through the 6th of January? I think one thing is just to rest and delight in the sights and smells and sounds of the season. Uh, they'll still be up, and now the hecticness of the, the hectic pace of Christmas may be eased up a little bit and we can just enjoy ourselves. Another thing is, this is a great time for get-togethers with friends and family. And we just want to stress here at A Spacious Place that we encourage everyone to get fully vaccinated if they're going to be getting together and being in community because that is how we care for ourselves and for the members of our community. And that is a very, very important value for us all to have. So it it's a little bit less stressful during those 12 days, but it's still the holiday season, so it's a great time to get together. And then, of course, that's when New Year's Day falls, so we think about making resolutions. Perhaps this year, we fill those resolutions with a lot of grace and give ourselves the opportunity to say, I believe I can manage this, but I'm going to give it a try, and if I have difficulty with it, then I'm just going to get back up and give it another try and, and feel good about myself and give myself grace. We also, um, at our get-togethers, have cards that we send give to everyone where everyone shares a word of grace or blessing written down or drawn and put in an envelope for somebody else. For them, we put the names on it, they take it home with them, and then during those 12 days of Christmas, you can pull out those blessings and hopes for yourself and know yourself named and cared about. And to me, that is a great way to start a new year and to celebrate the holiday season. And then the last idea is to rewrite the music to the 12 days of Christmas in, for an activity or an interest that you have and just have a good time with that and perhaps even uh, put it to music and sing it and share it with someone else. We would love to hear what you have to sh share from your own take on the 12 days of Christmas. So if you have found this helpful, we hope you'll like it. And you can rewatch on Facebook, on YouTube, or on our website, www.aspaciousplace.com. And we wish every one of you a joyous, restorative, loving family 
whatever that is for you, holiday season. And I would like to close with a prayer that is also a carol. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch are keeping? This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. Amen.